to whom it may concern. Hello, my name is Gerald Haynes, and I am currently incarcerated in the Wise County Jail in Decatur, Texas. I have been away from my children and unable to provide for them for over three months now due to my detainment. I was recently indicted on a third-degree felony for possession of a controlled substance, one gram to four grams. The controlled substance in question was merely the byproduct of smoking marijuana, just some unpackaged, unprocessed tar or resin that was cleaned out of my pipe. I am facing a possible 10-year prison sentence for THC for not throwing away what I cleaned out of my marijuana pipe. I don't feel comfortable discussing many details of my case from within the walls, but I feel that this is unjust and deserving of some attention. While I should mention that I am facing other possession charges stemming from this arrest, this one is the most severe and is currently the only one which I have been indicted on. I am far from perfect, but I have been a good father and a productive citizen, and I do not feel like my family nor I deserve the punishment which I am potentially facing. I sincerely feel like I don't have a fighting chance from behind these walls. I have barely had any chances to speak with my court-appointed attorney. He doesn't answer calls from within the jail and has only visited me twice, once for my info and history, and once to present my pre-indictment offer. When I was taken to the courtroom for my formal arraignment, he only met me at the judge's bench to go through the motions. He did not visit with me at all. While I did not feel like he is on my side, I would find it difficult to present my case to him from within here if he was. Also, I have yet to receive access to the jail's law library. I have been on a waiting list for a few weeks now. Once I came to the realization that my attorney was not going to provide me with the counsel I desired, I made law library access one of my priorities. While I would be able to Google the laws, definitions, and my rights outside as a free, innocent, and so proven guilty man, I am currently limited to waiting on all the red tape associated with a visit to the law library database. Aside from being unable to properly research, prepare for, and fight my case from here, I am also missing out on my professional and family life. I missed my son's first ever day of school. I missed out on my daughter losing her two front teeth. Both children are ready to take the training wheels off of their bicycles. More importantly, I was not able to financially help with the expense of school supplies and clothes, nor to mention their normal day-to-day -day needs. I have employment options waiting for me, but not the but not the same life I have before my arrest. The longer I am in here waiting for and or fighting this, the more of my life I am losing. I am writing this to bring attention to my case for several reasons, many of which are admittedly selfish. I am seeking assistance in bailing out of here first of all. I am either seeking a bondsman who is willing to work with me on payments or seeking financial assistance to paying a bondsman. Also, I am seeking willing and competent legal counsel. I need an attorney who will work for me and who will keep me informed. I need one who is willing to work with me financially or else I need some assistance in paying for an attorney. Additionally, I am seeking the support of concerned citizens who may hear about my case and could write Wise County officials such as the District Attorney's Office and or the Judge of the 271st Judicial District to voice their opinions and or to plead for leniency. If nothing else, I hope that awareness is raised further so that the legislators of all chambers, both at the state and federal level, continue to receive calls of action to change oppressive marijuana laws. While I realize that I have just presented many needs, I, all I can really ask for is from this organization is information and resources to point me in the right direction for receiving some of the assistance I seek. Any help would be appreciated. I would like for news of my case to be put out there for sure. I want law enforcement and the courts around here to know that they are being watched and held accountable. And, if nothing else, perhaps some pen pals would, allow, would at least help me pass the time and help keep my spirits up. Some days in here are longer and more depressing than others.
As long as the state of Texas continues to demonize marijuana and cannabis derivatives in such an archaic manner, we cannot help but accept the fact that otherwise responsible parents will be pulled from their children, that otherwise productive citizens will be classified as criminals. I wish I could romanticize my situation and consider myself a martyr of sorts, but I fear I have merely become, I will merely become a statistic. I refuse to simply roll over and accept whatever punishment this court offers without making them think about it and work for it. I will not allow my court appointed attorney to sell me out without putting any work into my case. I will ride this wave and will get to hug my children again soon enough. I will once again be able to provide them the love and support I provided before this incident. I am putting my faith in family and friends to provide what I am currently incapable of providing. It is my wish that no one else has to endure something similar to this. This tumult is only temporary, but it can potentially leave a mark for the rest of my life, especially if I wind up with a third degree felony conviction. I apologize for such a long-winded letter. In retrospect, much of it appears to be a selfish sob story, but I have been often been too proud to ask for help. Being incarcerated, however, leaves me unable to effectively fight this. I know I am not the only one going through this. I know that legalization is getting closer to becoming an actuality, but when I am possibly facing 10 years in prison for simply cleaning my pipe, it becomes a little more difficult for me to realize that fact. I thank you for your time, and I appreciate and respect all that normal stands for, and I can guarantee you that I will become an active member as soon as possible. Sincerely, Gerald Hamilton.